Hi, welcome back to a new video, and this is one I wanted to record about a week ago, uh, but you may be able to tell from my voice that uh, I'm getting over a cold, and a week ago I was right in the middle of that cold, and you wouldn't have wanted me recording a video then. So, what's this one about? Well, basically I just wanted to walk you through the um, photographic stuff that I got for Christmas, because there's quite a bit of it and stuff kind of encompasses all aspects of it. Uh, now one thing I will say is don't expect any brand new cameras, brand new lenses, anything like that because as regulars to the channel will know I don't tend to buy new camera equipment at all um, unless it's things like LED lights or little tripods and stuff like that. Cameras and bodies I buy second hand, always have done and I really should make a video explaining why at some point in the future. Okay, let's get on to uh, what I got. Now, the first one was a little stocking fella, but I do like it a lot. Now, hopefully, go on, focus on that, please, camera. Let's get my, there we go, that should be in focus now. It's a little camera key ring that uh, our youngest daughter bought for me. Uh, with a, You'll notice in, in the place of the uh, flash, it's even got a little crystal, so. That's the first one, and I really do like it, and it's on my keys, and I'm glad it's on my keys. So, moving on from that, um, and building cameras, sort of. Lego, and fake Lego. Um, so, this, this one, um, I... I believe it was my eldest daughter. Uh, our eldest daughter bought me this. It is a knockoff Lego, those tiny, tiny, tiny little block ones. Um, and it's a twin lens reflex camera. So I haven't started building either of these yet, but I am looking forward to this one a lot, as I am. This one now, this is brand new from Lego, and I must confess that I kind of bought it for myself with some Christmas money um, because this didn't come out until the 1st of December it's uh, not 1st of December 1st of January 2024 it's one of the creator series three in one so uh, you can actually build an SLR a 80s style 90s style camcorder or a TV for some unknown reason, I don't know, but this obviously is the one I want to build. Um, this is actually a really reasonably priced Lego set, £18. Um, it does, interestingly, if we can get a decent shot of that, even have film canisters that you can load into it with shots on there. But you may notice that the format um, of the shots is uh, a little bit odd, being portrait rather than landscape. So I'm just going to pretend it's a half-frame Lego camera. But yeah, I'm looking forward to building both of those. Um, I'm a big Lego fan as it is, so we'll see how they go. All right, let's move on now to uh, some books. I've got three books, um, so in no particular order, let's start with the first one. So, first one is The Bang Bang Club, uh, which is basically the story of four photojournalists and photographers um, in the early to mid-90s in South Africa. Um, the end of apartheid uh, moving into democratic um, rule within South Africa and it's written by two of them um, Greg and um, Goa, Goa I can't pronounce his name I do apologize and there was a film made of the same name um, Kevin Carter was also one of the photographers involved and Ken Osterbrook was the other um, I've started reading it, I've not finished it yet, but I am aware of some of the details of the stories behind some of the photographers, um, and getting this will allow me, I hope, to get a bit more detail about um, all four of them, and what was a very turbulent time for South Africa as well. Second book is Experimental Photography, A Handbook of Techniques. Um, so my wife picked this one up for me, and I must confess I wasn't 100% sure what would be covered in it, but it's actually got quite a lot of nice good stuff in there, from modifying cameras to different printing technologies to different photographic technologies to different approaches. It covers lamography, for example. Um, it, it's a semi-hardbound book. It's nicely put together, well illustrated 
illustrated and covered throughout with lots of fun things to um, get involved with in it. So I am looking forward to um, having a read through this and perhaps playing around with a few of these techniques, um, or at the very least learning more about them. Now, the final book is quite a tome, and I may do a separate review on this because um, it's a book I've wanted for quite a while and now have a copy of, and that is, um, I'm trying to make sure that you can see it there. As you can see, it's quite sizable. It's uh, Don McCullum, the effectively the um, retrospective. It is 300 plus pages. It's really nicely put together, really nicely printed, um, and it covers all of his work from his early work in the 50s in London through Vietnam, the conflicts that followed that, uh, right the way up to his more recent work traveling Europe and even his large format um, landscape photography. And there's a lot of really good stuff in there. Uh, a couple of interesting forewords in there as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a sizable tone, but one that's well worth picking up um, and will add to my ever growing list of uh, photography. Uh, books so yeah pleased to have got this one this this is a, a good good catch okay on to two linked ones um as regular channel will know i do shoot a lot of film um, not as much as i shoot on digital but i do still shoot a lot of film and um up till now I've been using the Lomography digitizer for most of my scanning work um, along with my um, Olympus EM EM1 Mark II and a, a macro lens. But particularly for medium format work, I wasn't quite happy with how the results were coming out and how it scans. So I've decided to up the game a little bit and hopefully this will improve things. So. Um, these two I will probably again do standalone videos on once I've got them up and running and perhaps some comparisons back with um, some of the stuff that I um, digitized using the Lomography digitizer. So the first one is the Cinestill CS Light. So that is a camera scanning light source. Um, it is apparently very color accurate, nice and bright, and uh, contains three uh, balance outputs for um, better reproduction when you're scanning black and white color neg and color slide so that's the first one and then to go with that the pixelator um now the pixelator is basically to hold your necks flat and um one of the reasons i wanted to pick the pixelator up in particular is because it covers a wide range of formats. Uh, as you know, if you watch the channel, I've got a lot of cameras, um, a lot of film cameras, and a lot of them, particularly the medium format ones, are in a variety of different format sizes. And I've got some stuff which is a bit older and obscure. So this allows you very easily to switch between the different formats. Um, allegedly, I've not yet used it, does a good job of holding stuff nice and flat and keeping it in line. And I'm very sorry my phone notifications keep going off please try and ignore them as I am um, but apparently it does work very well and one of the nice things is you can for additional film formats um, you can 3d print your own inserts to go in there um, which I don't have access to a 3d printer but my son-in-law does so I may take advantage of that um, and see what happens with regard to that so I'm not going to go into much more detail with regard to these two um, yet because I'm probably, as I mentioned, going to put together a separate video for them. Right, and then finally, and this arrived today, which was quite useful in terms of the video, I spent some of my Christmas money on... I need to bend down. Another camera job lot. It has literally just arrived, as you can see, it is completely intact and unopened. Um, so I will be putting another video to together over the next day or two exploring exactly what is in here and we'll see what I got for 18 pounds I think I paid for this one so it's another 18 pound job lot we'll see what's in here anyway that's uh, my Christmas roundup of stuff I got for uh, my photography idiocy over Christmas hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you have please do give it a like and if you want to see more content like this subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when new content gets uploaded
Thanks very much, everyone. Take care. Bye.